Good morning and a very warm welcome. You are watching Janata Television and this is English Bulletin with me, Yutsa Patrai. The top stories first. Chhat Festival concludes capital C's rise in number of people celebrating Chhat Festival. Ruling NCP starts a discussion for the by-elections likely to nominate members for lower house today. Chhat Festival sees a brisk banana business, a transaction of more than 20 million rupees takes place in South Dari. Attack in Mali military post kills 53 soldiers, Islamic State claims responsibility. And Manchester City Liverpool bounce back to win their Premier League matches, Manchester United suffers defeat. And now, the news in detail. The Chat Festival, which is celebrated mainly in Tarai region, has concluded today. The fest festival is gaining popularity in the hilly districts as well. A report. Whether it is in Tarai or in Kathmandu, the decorated ponds for the Chat Festival gave a familiar look everywhere. People were preparing for this festival since months. This festival saw an enthusiastic participation of devotees coming to the ponds and water bodies to make offerings to the goddess Chati Mata and the sun god. However, the festive mood was not limited to the rivers and ponds of the Tarai. In recent years, people have started celebrating Chhat in various places of Kathmandu. This is a good example of religious tolerance. Hindus and Muslims both attend this festival to increase the bond between the two religious communities. It also gives a message that there is no barrier in celebrating festivals. Chhat Festival concludes after offering prayers to the rising sun today. President Vidya Devi Bhandari offered prayers to the setting sun yesterday as the four day Chhat festival wrapped up. The president worshipped goddess Chhati Mata from Kamal Pokhari and Gauri Ghat in Kathmandu. Meanwhile, the president also felicitated the members of a Chhat festival organizing committee who contributed to the successful management of Chhat celebrations this year. Vice President Nanda Bahadur. Vice President Nanda Bahadur Poon also offered prayers to the setting sun from Kamal Pokhari yesterday evening. Vidya Sundar Sakya, mayor from Kathmandu Metropolitan City, were among other dignitaries who were present at the Kamal Pokhari for Chhat occasions. Chhat celebrations is being organized in Kamal Pokhari since the past nine years. The general public also offered Chhat prayers by worshipping the setting sun from Kamal Pokhari. Chhat celebrations will end today after offering prayers to the rising sun. Similarly, former Crown Princess Himani Shaha also offered her worships to Chhatimai from Nagpokhari, Kathmandu. The ruling Nepal Communist Party has started the first round of discussions for nominating candidates for the upcoming by-elections on November 13. The Secretariat meeting of NCP held at the Prime Minister's residence in Balwatar yesterday discussed about the candidates referred for the Regional Election Coordination Committee. District Committee and Provincial Committee for all three tiers of the government, including the lower house, provincial assembly and the local le levels. The NCP is preparing to finalize the candidates for the lower house and provincial assembly today. Chetriye Nirvatan Samanne Samiti, Jilla Committee, Pra Pradesh Committee Vaad Aayka Shifari Sharku Adhin Gare Ka Chau. Tismati Prarambik Chalphal Aru Shukraat Bhaay Kucha. अहिले समय आपको आपको कारणले भोली को बैठक बाटा हमी प्रतिनिधि सभा र प्रदेश सभा र जिस तरी कतिपे मेयर हरका 
ठावरमा पनि छन् चुनाव ती उम्मेदवारहरुको आफ्नो तर्फबाट घोषणा गर्दछु Prime Minister and party co-chairman K.P. Sharma Oli quashed the rumors about his health, stating that the situation is not as bad as it has been portrayed in the media. By sp party spokesperson Naren Kaji Shwasta said, Gumbira was the first time to be a sickest of the world. The first time to be a sickest of the world. चिकित्सक अरुले परीक्षण करी रहेगा सन अनुसंधान करी रहेगा सन तेज का कई रिपोर्ट और आउने माकी सा कई रिपोर्ट और प्राप्त भय पची उपचार को और उकोर्स को बारे में आवश्यक निर्णय वाला अहिले बने तो पहले था ये पाउनु भाई को सा ग्रैंडी अस्पताल में माको डायलासिस भायो रा अहिले वहाँ सामान्य � Spokesperson Shrasta said the Prime Minister's health is stable and he is back at his office doing his regular work. This is Jananda Bulletin. We'll be right back after a short break. Welcome back. After the break, we continue with other national news. The Nepalese army has got a new cargo plane. The fixed-wing aircraft for which the army had signed a deal in 2017 arrived at the Tribhuvan International Airport yesterday. The Nepalese army procured the plane from Indonesia for US dollar 34.7 million. The army has said it will use the plane for para jump and for crisis management. The newly acquired plane with Call sign 235220 has a capacity to accommodate 51 persons. Four rhinos have been found dead within the last two months at Chitwan National Park. According to the park authorities, four rhinos have been found dead in different areas of Chitwan National Park since August 28 this year. Most recently, an adult male rhino was found dead at Madhyawarti Community Forest, Bharatpur, informed Gopal Bahadur Kimire, Deputy Conservation Officer at Chitwan National Park. Kimire said the rhino had aged and was unable to walk or Greece. He was being observed by the park authorities. Previously, the, car the carcass of another rhino was found last month at Bardaha Community Forest, Paratpur on October 16. Similarly, one more rhino at Korsor, Sauraha on September 22nd and another male rhino at Arapti Community Forest on August 28th were found dead, informed Kemiri. Last year, 41 rhinos had died because of natural causes and old age. Although rhinos have been secured from poachers and hunters, they have been dying because of old age in the past few years. A research committee has been formed by Chitwan National Park to identify the causes of rhinos' death. Nepal is a country rich in culture and natural beauty, said Minister for Education, Science and Technology Giriraj Mani Pokhra. Inaugurating the 8th edition of Nepal Africa Film Festival organized by Kathmandu College of Journalism and Mass Communication yesterday, Minister Pokhril reaffirmed about Nepal's rich socio-cultural diversity. Minister Pokhril opined that identity of Nepali society can be found in its culture, tradition, literature, language and its theatre. <laughs> कला साहित्य संगीत रंगमंच र सांस्कृतिक अनुष्ठानहरुको दीर्घ परम्परा नेपाली समाजको परिचय बनिसकेको छ Other orators of the program opined that the film industry reflects the importance of art and culture and stressed on the implementation of quality education system The film fest that began yesterday will continue for 3 years 3 days And now the news from economic front Chat Festival in Saptari saw banana business cross over 20 million rupees. 
Banana, which is considered a religiously important fruit during the Chhat festival, was sold from the district headquarters Raj Biraj to nearby places of ba Barsain, Bhardana and Kanchanpur, Kalyanpur and Kadmaha. The bananas were brought in from Chaba, Morang and even imported from Patna, Siliguri and Muzaffarpur of India to meet the demand during the festival. It is compulsory to use banana as a religious offering during Chhat festival. A trunk of banana was sold for anywhere between 500 to 2,500 rupees in Sapdari. Time for a short break here at Janata Bulletin. Stay tuned for international news. We are at the end of Janata Bulletin and the headlines once again. Chhat Festival concludes, capital sees a rise in number of people celebrating this festival. A ruling NCP starts a discussion for the by-elections, likely to nominate members for lower house today. Chhat Festival sees a brisk banana business, transaction of more than 20 million rupees takes place in Sokhtari. Attack on Mali military post killed 53 soldiers. Islamic State claims responsibility. And Manchester City Liverpool bounce back to win their Premier League matches. Manchester United suffer defeat. And that's all from the English News Desk for today. You can follow Jonathan Television and our programs on various social media platforms, including on our website, jonathasamachar.com. Keep watching Jonathan Television. Namaste.